it's going to be blast of Coleman for me here. Uh, course specialist. He was second in the race last year. He was only just beaten by Patrick Park, who was very well handicapped. He's five pound higher this year. But I just like the way he's been campaigned. It looks as though Robert has just laid him out entirely for this race this year. He creeps in on 10 stone. His punch of 10 record is, is terrific. He's only actually won once at the track, and that was uh, his most recent race on New Year's Eve when he won a hurdle. But uh, he's been second three times. He was second in this race last year. He was second to invitation only in a bumper. And he was second to Magic of Life in what is actually the first race on the card today. Um, and those are really strong pieces of form. Um, he needs to go right-handed. I think at this stage he needs two and a half miles. And I don't think this is the greatest renewal of the race. I thought it was a better race last year. Warsound jumped well. I think Warsound can can have a big say at a decent price. His jumping has gone to pieces since he won at Aintree. But Ro- who better than Robert Tynish to get one ready for the big day? And I think this is last of Coleman's big day. I can't see him finishing out of the play.